Plessierrouten versteht man Klettern. Equipped routes are climbing routes that primarily provide good protection and solid rock. Equipped routes are therefore less risky than other classic alpine climbing routes. Protection on equipped routes is nevertheless an important factor. Anchors divide the route into several sections, i.e. pitches. When I arrive at the anchor point on an equipped route, I normally have at least one, but normally two solid anchors. These are called bolts. The anchor point for equipped climbs is normally equipped with two protection points, which makes it much easier to set up a series construction. The anchor point is our island of safety. The lead climber protects themselves here, and the rope partner follows on. When I arrive at the anchor point in a multi-pitch climb, I take the belay sling that I prepared earlier. This consists of a 120-centimeter sling with a bowline on a bite and two screw-gate carabiners. Then I take a screw gate carabiner, clip it onto the lower bolt where the sling's bowline on a bite also gets clipped, and then secure myself using this screw gate carabiner. When I, the lead climber, have secured myself at the anchor point, I can then tell my follower and shout loudly, off belay. And in case there are many rope teams on the rock face, I can make it clear who I'm speaking to by shouting the follower's name so that no one thinks I'm talking to them by mistake. When I've done so, the person below can take me off belay and then shout up, belay off. That way I know up top as the lead climber that I can pull the rope up to protect my follower. This means I clip the second screw gate carabiner into the upper bolt, clip in the sling too. Usually there's a bit of slack in the sling, so I want to get rid of that so that no force will be applied to the upper bolt if the lower one fails. To get it out, I tie a clove hitch in the sling, and this redirects the sling so that the bolt is not put under strain, as it should only serve as a redundancy. It should not be placed under any strain. At the anchor point, we therefore use two protection points so that we're redundant. If one protection point fails, you still have a second one coupled with the first that will protect the rope team from a fall. As the lead climber, I reel in the slack rope to protect my follower. In case of doubt, they can shout, up rope, to me. Then I know for sure that the rope is tight to the follower. And as soon as I've got them on belay, the follower below can clip out of their own anchor and follow. When belaying, I always ensure that I'm giving them a slight tug. I don't need to pull them up, but I should also avoid giving them slack rope. When working at the anchor point, you should check the situation once more. This entails checking to see if the anchor point was set up correctly, ensuring the anchors are suitable, and that the belay has been secured correctly.